Hi, my name is Shristi and welcome to day 17 of the 30 day Mean Stack Honolulu Challenge. Today we're going to style out our customers page. We've been looking at this page for a couple of days now and we've um, we've uh, we've got a list of customers now, but it's time to start to structure this out and make it look pretty. So in order to structure this out, what I've got open here is the list customers client view. So I'm um, in the app public modules in the customers module and um, cu list customers client view. So we've we've spent a bit of time uh, looking through this code, uh, particularly the top part of this code yesterday. But today we're going to have a look at what else is going on on this um, on this particular HTML page. So we know that we've got this bit of code here, which is looping through our list of customers that, that are returned by the customer's controller. But what about a few of these other items? So two items that I want to point out is um, is this this kind of piece of code here. So it's got um, data ng bind customer dot created. Now we know from our model, and if we didn't, we can just jump up to app, um, go to models, go to customer server model that created is um, one of those kind of fields that's available to us to put data into that's set up as part of the list of fields that make up our customer's model. Um, but there's this little kind of piece on the end of this um, this line that's kind of interesting. So there's this this kind of pipe that's um, that comes just after created and then there's date and then there's medium. So you might be wondering, well, what is that code all about? Now that's actually an Angular filter. So it's actually Angular, Angular related code that allows you to format the date that's actually returned um, in this medium kind of string. So if you see when you're looking at medium, you've got um, like September 14, 2014, and it's got the actual um, time as well. However, if you, um, if you, change that to something else, well, how do you know what else you can change that to? So let's just jump across and have a look at the Angular website. So if we go to angularjs.org, go across to develop and just go to the developer guide. And if you, um, if you just go down and have a look at Angular filters, you'll get an idea of what this Angular date related filter looks like and how it works and what kind of things you can do to change it up. So I just jump to filters and it tells you here about what a filter actually is and how it works. And you see that we're talking about an expression, we've got this pipe and then we've got a filter. So for example, currency is a filter that can actually format the, a number for us in a, in a currency type of format. Um, there's quite a lot of different types of filters that you can use and ha you know, having a look through um, the AngularJS website will give you a lot of that. So if I just put in here then, um, oops, date, um, and just go down to filters, you can see here that here are all the different types of filters that you can use to actually format your um, date field. So that's pretty clever, right? This little piece of code um, does quite a lot of magic behind the scenes when you're looking at your Angular app. Um, and then the code underneath that, we've got um, the details of the user. So here we've got um, where the user who's created our record, uh, what, who, the, who actually created the record, so their name. Um, and lastly, we've got this, um, this line which, which talks about displaying uh, a customer's name. Now we know that we've pulled out the name field previously. If you wanted to test this out, you could just add um, change name to first name because that's one of the fields in our model. Um, but for now, we're gonna we're gonna look at how we change this up and get it to start to look um, like the pages that we want to create. So let's start to do that. So this is this is gonna hopefully be a nice and quick way for us to just format up this page. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller so we can just kind of keep it there and, and refer back to it if we need to. Um, and I'm going to start to format this out. So when I'm looking at the the tablet um, kind of desktop TV kind of view, I want to be able to display three customers per row. So we know just using our basic maths, so if we want to display three, then we need um, each one to have a width of four, so we make up that sort of 12 grid. So let's put that in. So we're going to go diff class, we're going to go col, um, 
there's a, there's a couple of different ways that we could do this depending on the size. We're going to go with SM for now. So anything that's larger than a mobile device will go in with um, with SM. And we've got four. And then we'll sort of close off that div. And, and we'll start to use this div to formula out our page. I've just opened this over here so you can see that as well. Um, so firstly, well actually it's going to be a bit harder. So we'll, we'll continue with this page. So firstly, we want to put in... Um, an icon at the at the top. But before we do that, we're going to remove the data ng repeat. So we'll go and just grab that and plug that into our div. So what we were saying is we want a div class of four. I'm going to repeat through it. So each time we're repeating through the loop, we want to create a column of four. Um, and within that, we're going to have our a, which, ident which identifies um, that we that we want something to be able to um, to click and to hover onto. Um, see, I just grabbed the A from here, so we're just keeping our code. All right, so we've got the hover, which is all good. Now, underneath that, we want to have an icon, so we go I class. We we'll put in our Glyphicon, and we use Glyphicon user, which we're all very familiar with now. Um, and that gives us that. Then underneath that, we're just going to plug in first name. Now, we're going to just put this into um, some tags. And I've just put that into, let's say, H4 tags, which isn't really going to change the size. But what that will do is it will just indent it down without, oops, without me having to put too much additional formatting around it. And then next to first name, uh, we've got surname. So we'll plug that in too. So again, um, if you're not, if you can't remember um, the attributes that we'd set up, you can either go back to the model and just refer to the model, or you can go to, um, oops, in customers, go to controllers, go to customer client controller, and you can see the list of the um, the attributes that we'd assigned um, to our model. So that gives us first name and surname. So that's the icon, that's the text. And then the bottom, we want sort of this text muted thing. And we can just use small. So we'll copy small and just grab the tag there. So the close tag. And then within that, um, we're just going to grab this span for with the created date details. Um, in the wireframe, it talks about updated. We'll keep it as created for now. Um, and what we'll also do is we'll just make this text muted to give it a slightly muted kind of color. Um, and we can remove everything else. We don't really need um, any of those other details. A um, couple of things you probably noticed is that this icon's quite large over here. So if we go and have a look at what's happened in the app so far, just wait till that refreshes. Um, you'll see a small icon. Um, we, we can make that bigger in the same way that we have previously. All right, so one thing you'll notice is that when I'm looking at the page um, on, on a window of this size, everything's kind of in a row, um, which is similar to um, how we had it for our mobile device. However, our mobile actually wants to split these columns into two. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll just go call extra small. So when I'm looking at an extra small device, I actually want to have um, my customers go across two columns. So we'll just leave that one there. And if we go back, we should now see two customers per row when we're looking at it with a small window. So if we go smaller, we see there's two customers per row. When we go bigger, we see there's three customers per row based on what we've asked um, the app to do. We can also, also see we've got this just little icon over here. We want to sort of center that and we want to make that a little bit bigger. So please, so we'll go across to the Create Customer Client view, find our Glyphicon, similar to what we've done before, and we're going to do something similar to Cust Profile. You can just copy that just for reference. Um, go to our Cust list and just plug that on the end after user. But this time, we don't want it to be 250 pixels. We want that to be a little bit smaller. So we'll just change that to um, Cust list so we know where we're actually using this reference. Um, and I'll copy that. Now, before I actually um, uh, change that up and give it a size, I want to format this slightly. And I'm just going to put this into um, H4. And I'll just throw that H4 around um, the I tags. 
and I'm going to take this class and I'm actually going to move it into the H4. So I'll go with class H4. And the reason I'm doing this is just to give it a little bit of additional formatting that comes with the H4 class. So I've got some alignment. Um, and lastly, what I want to do is if I push this um, icon into the middle, if I look back at the um, the format of the um, the page here, I can see that there's a little bit of space on either side of the um, of, of the of the, the customer's name details. So I'm just going to um, push this into its own row with its own uh, column. So I'm going to go with div class um, row because I'm already in a column. So I've already got this column here. So I'm going to put this into um, a row and then I'm going to further split that into uh, a column. So I'm going to oops, say div class col um, will make that extra small. So even if it's tiny, it's going to go all the way across. It's going to be worth a length of 10. And I want to offset it by one. So call extra small. Um, and we'll just go offset, just grab offset by one. So we can just paste everything into that. And that should give us um, a little bit of space on um, on either side of our, our name details. So let's go and deal with cusp list. So copy that and just get rid of the space there. Move across to our CSS file, so customers.css. Can just paste that in. Okay, so that's increased the size of our icon, but it sort of moved us over to the left. So we can just fix that up by next to cusp list. We'll just make that text center and just save that up too. All right, so now we've got an icon, we've got a little bit of space, we've got our first name, our surname, and we've got some muted set of date details down the bottom. Um, one more thing though, we, we've got some colors that we've used um, over here on, on this page. We've got the pinks and the blues. Um, what we will do is um, is add some color using CSS classes, similar to what we did for the Create Customer page. So um, that's it for today. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much if you have. Um, and also a big thank you to um, all the people who have uh, sent me messages, either left messages on the YouTube channel or sent me messages through bossable.com. Thank you so much. I'm just so humbled um, with so much amazing feedback from you all. Um, so thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and um, and I'll, I'll see you tomorrow.